in module 2 we have discussed about random variables and probability distribution in this module we will discuss about the mechanics of statistical modeling we will keep it simple and avoid using any mathematical formula please watch the second module to understand this module better i have provided the link in the description box let's start well, the whole purpose of statistical modeling as you have already discussed is to predict the future and in order to predict the future we have to decide on the model right but the question is how to decide on the model well in this histograms can help us but what is histogram well if we have the whole data and where we able to classify the whole data into different groups what we get is a histogram okay now this distribution of the data can help us to predict or to have an approximate idea about the future data right and as we have already discussed in the previous modules that we have to decide or predict the model okay the model and the choice of the model depends on the histogram and histograms can help us to decide or justify the choice of the model right and one thing you should remember here is that the art here is to create the correct histogram if we can correctly create the histogram we can correctly decide or approximate the model well let us have an uh, idea about the different types of distribution of data suppose uh, uh, please excuse me for my drawing because I'm not very good and if this digital pen it becomes even difficult for me okay? but I'm trying my level best now suppose this is a kind of an histogram the grouping of a data and again I will draw a different grouping of data a different set of data the whole idea is to give a picture of how data set can be distributed and a idea of the distribution with the help of histogram can give a approximate idea about the choice right now as we can see that this is a distribution this is also a distribution this is again a distribution and this is also a distribution now these all are different types of distributions precisely probability distributions having different types of name and all sort of mathematical calculations and formula but what the basic idea here is to get that if we can draw the histogram we can get an approximate idea of the distribution of the data and also we can have an idea about the model of prediction i hope you people have understood it right okay now as we have already discussed that this distribution helps to calculate the probability of a value that we do not know the whole idea of doing statistical modeling is to predict the future okay so we need to calculate a value in the future and with certainty we cannot do it that's why we are doing statistical modeling but we can always assign a probability to it right as we have already done it right deterministic and stochastic those all things we have already discussed right now we can predict the probability of a value from a small data set now we don't have the luxury always to have all the data and all the calculations and all the information with us we only have a very small data set with us and we need to calculate the probability of a value occurring in future from that small data set and that can be done only if we have an idea about the probability distribution okay now we will take one very famous probability distribution which is known as normal distribution and we'll discuss how to use it now let us first of all understand the properties of the normal distribution first the normal distribution is centered around mean the mean value right the average value the width of the distribution or the uh, i mean the curve is defined by the standard deviation okay what is this uh, mean in standard deviation and all those things we will discuss in the subsequent modules 
the height which is also known as kurtosis of the curve is dependent on the width right and the shape of the curve or the symmetry of the curve is also known as skewness uh, is a major uh, factor to be considered while deciding on the type of normal distribution okay now let me try to draw okay guys please excuse me for my drawing i am telling again i am not very good at drawing but i'll give it my level best okay what it has come okay now this is what actually a normal uh, distribution curve looks like and this is a bell shaped curve uh, these are the mean values okay so it is centered around mean this curve is centered around mean this is the width of the curve right and uh, i'll take a different color here to like draw the kurtosis this is the uh, like kurtosis of the curve okay excuse me uh, this is the kurtosis or the height of the curve and the if you can look at this curve this is like symmetrical right and the symmetry of the curve is known as skewness so this is how a normal curve look like or a normal distribution curve looks like every distribution every distribution have their own curves and their properties right okay now now let us take an example of how to use the normal distributions to predict the probability of any future value we will not use any formula okay we will only use the concept that we have discussed in module 2 the frequency concept of probability right okay now let us consider this example so i will uh, like try to do it i will take different color so our whole population is about 80 crore mobile users right so our population is 80 crore and we know all the data about their age distribution so we will write the age distribution 10 to 0 to 10 years is 5 crore 10 to 20 years is 20 crore 20 to 30 years is 30 crore 30 to 40 years is again 20 crore and 40 to 50 is 5 crore guys excuse me for my handwriting please okay now we will draw this distribution right we will divide into uh, different groups so 10 20 30 40 and 50 So zero to ten is five. So we okay. This we have to also divide. So this we divide by like uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Oh, it is pretty difficult to write in a digital pen. Anyway, uh, so five will be okay. I will take this uh, eraser here. And, okay, now again uh, this five, right? So this is five. So we have this one five here. So whole, whole. I mean whole this one five. Okay, this one is five. And then we have ten to twenty is twenty. So we'll have twenty here. So this is our twenty. and then we have 20 to 30 is 30 so we take this and this is our 30 30 to 40 is our 20 so again we have this and then this is 5 right now you can see if we can join and take a different color here out here if we can join this the midpoints you can see this is kind of a normal distribution right now the question is that a randomly selected What is the probability that a randomly selected mobile user will be more than 31 years of age? So up to this one is 30, right? Up to this one is 30. Up to this one is 30. So more than 31 years will be here. So what is that number? Which is 20 plus 5, 25. So in the frequency approach, it will be 25 upon 80, which is around 0.31, right? So 31%. But point three one is the probability that a particular mobile user selected will be more than thirty one years of age. Now this is how we can calculate the probability of a future value occurring with certainty, right? But now okay, there here uh, the selected uh, spelling is misspelled. One e is missing out here. Okay. Anyway, 
so now the question is what if we, if we do not have the whole information about the population what we will do okay uh, then what we will do is that we have to do what is known as modeling right we will do statistical modeling and if we have a sample we have an idea about the population distribution we can use that distribution function and with that distribution function we can define on the model we can try to have an idea about the distribution and we can identify the value of the future now before going into the statistical modeling part even deeper we need to understand this terminologies first population now population is anything which any and everybody which have the characteristics of our study will be included under population suppose if we want to study americans or indians or okay let us take the example of indians so the characteristics of indian whatever we will define according to our study all the people all the indians having the characteristics of our study will be included in our population a part of the population having the characteristics of the population is our sample right so you have understood what is population and sample there is a population which we are going to study but we cannot study the whole population so we take a part of that population which is the sample sample is a representation of the population now there is one more thing which is known as parameter parameter are the characteristics of the population okay whatever is the characteristics you want to study that is known as parameter and the statistic is the estimate of the parameter that we get from the sample the estimate of the parameter that we get from the sample is statistic so i am again repeating we have a population which has the characteristics of our study we don't uh, have the luxury or time and money to study the whole population hence we take a sample out of the population sample is having the characteristics of the population we study the population with the help of sample but we estimate the parameter with the help of statistic which is we get from the sample now the question is are the estimates about parameter correct well if we if that estimates are about the parameter are correct are unbiased okay and the model that we have selected is perfect we get a very good approximation or idea about the future value well in the second part of this uh, discussion we will be talking about central tendency and the concepts of deviation how those concepts are used in the statistical modeling part and go deeper into statistical modeling i hope you have enjoyed this video i will request you to watch the series the whole modules one by one so you will have a clear cut idea try to take notes while i am discussing and if you have any questions please put in the comment so that we can discuss it okay goodbye take care